Hey, how's it going? This is Dylan. This is Leslie. And we're actually doing a Music Camp Mascara in the car like we used to. Woohoo! Yep. So today we want to talk about using Instant Messenger, Direct Messenger, you know, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, even Snapchat to grow your business, to grow relationships, and to grow your reach on social media. Yes. They're super, super powerful. Yeah, so we talk a lot about, um, you know, and you may hear those sayings like, it all happens in your inbox, or get them in your inbox, that type of thing. Um, and since it's all about growing relationships, it's just really good to have like those one-on-one -on -one conversations. Exactly. So this kind of comes, first of all, back to understanding that when you use stories in Instagram, and when you use stories in Facebook, yeah. and actually when you use Snapchat, what happens is uh, you'll upload a photo to stories, either in Facebook or Instagram or in Snapchat, um, or a little video, whatever that is. And the way people say, ooh, I like this, or reply to it, is literally by sending you a direct message. Yeah, and they might not realize that, but that's where it comes. So then that gives you the chance. When they started the conversation, right, they're obviously interested in whatever you shared. Um, and then it, it just allows you to step into that conversation. Exactly. So it's very key to, there's two things. One is be consistent in your stories. Use those features multiple times every day and it is called a story. So tell the story of your day. It might not necessarily be all, um, it might not necessarily be like all business related. In fact, I wouldn't even make it that. I would do. No, and I was gonna mention that. So even, you know, maybe people are immediately like, oh, I should post my product. Um, it's not even about that. It's literally sharing yourself, which somebody could then respond to. And that is how you create a genuine conversation. Because again, we're building relationships. Um, and building those relationships turns into building your business, not pushing your business on people. Right. So how we respond to those is super key also. Right. Right. So, because what we're not talking about here is, oh, this is going to teach me how to build my business in my, my DMs, meaning I'm going to spam everybody in my DMs with my business opportunity do or with my products that I have. That's not what this is. This is allowing someone else to be interested in what you're posting to start a conversation with you, and then you continue that conversation to get them to know you better. Right, because it's about trust. So that's why you build those relationships. Because once they, you build rapport with someone, then when you are sharing something perhaps that you want to sell, or they're curious about what you do, or fill in the blank, then they're going to respect what you say, or share, or advise. And even before that, if you're doing this consistently on a daily basis, it's just getting them curious about you right. and wanting then you they follow you on a regular basis and they get to that point yep. of of trusting you know the things that you say or the things that you share and so how does this build your audience well one we all know not everybody sees all your stuff so the more you can post in various places and gain interest even if they're already following you but now they're engaging with you and it does count engagement is key Yes. Absolutely. I heard an analogy the other day, and it's sort of crude, but uh, because a mistake you can make is you can be like, oh, somebody liked this picture of this product that I have. And then you can just go in there and be like, well, here's a link. You should go buy it. Don't do that. Um, maybe give them another detail about the picture. Um, like if I share a picture of a guitar and somebody says, ooh, that's a pretty guitar, I'll say... I'll say, uh, yeah, these pickups that I put in, in this one are particularly awesome or whatever, whatever to continue a conversation. The analogy I heard the other day was you're not looking for a one night stand situation where you go in there and you just say, you know, buy my product. You're really looking for a second and a third date. You're looking for a second and a third conversation. Yeah, because it does 
I think I heard the same thing you were listening to. It is, it's more about like a trust because if you sit, you know, if we use the analogy as the example, let's say you're sitting in a bar and have a conversation with somebody for half the night and you're like, oh, that is a really nice person. And then they're like, hey, do you want to come to my room? Like everything Just is ruins negated. The whole thing. Like it's done. Like you're not interested. You, anything that they said that you respected about them is gone. Like, and it's the same thing. So if you have a conversation and you're asking questions and, and really trying to understand what people like, cause we do that a lot. Right. Um, and then you're like, Oh, I think you'll love this. You should go buy this. Here's a link. They're going to be like, whatever. Yep. She just wasted my time. <laughs> that is one thing I've learned is I will almost never even in a different post on Facebook that I'm participating in or whatever, I will almost never just share a link. Like I will do whatever it takes to create conversation. Right. Like I, I won't just be like, Oh, here, share this. You need toothpicks. Well, here's my toothpicks.com. Go check it out. I will never do that because I want to create more conversation. Right. No, I love it. And it, it really is true. Like, if you haven't um, experienced this or or done this, like, and people really like the one-on-one -on -one time. Like, it feels yep. different than to just be, like, commenting on the same picture or responding to something there. Um, it really feels personal to them because they've reached out to you, opened up that line of communication, and now you're genuinely wanting to have a conversation with them. Well, and I know from experience that we are busy. We are running all the time. We're running right now as we're making this video. And so when we take the time uh, to reply to somebody in direct message, they really appreciate that personal time that they're getting to be like, oh, wow, he stopped what he was doing you know, making videos or, you know, yeah, building guitars shifting. or whatever it is. We just talked is. about this the other day. It seems like it's shifting. I mean, customer service has always been very important to us, but it seems to be shifting across the industry to where people are like, no, it needs this personal touch. I want to yes. be involved. I want to know what my customers are doing. So even at a higher business level, um, people are really doing this and taking advantage of it because this is what people want. Like we've We've come to this point, like we all love social media and it connects us with so many people, but you know, you get further and further from that personal touch yep. and it, it, it's nice this to just come back, back to around it. to it. Yeah. This is something I would say I would not farm out to somebody. No, I would do it myself. Needs to be you. This yeah, would be me. For sure. So you don't want like, cause you even said you felt like you had like a bot responding to you because it was super impersonal. Um, it oh, had nothing I, yeah. to do with, with what he posted. So it, it doesn't feel like a genuine connection and he's not going to reach out, you know, right. at all. So. Exactly. So I think the takeaway from this would be, be a, consistent multiple times a day. Really tell a story, even if it's not technically about your business, with your Instagram, your Twitter, and your Snapchat, and your Facebook stories opening yourself up for conversations, not sales opportunities, conversations in your direct and instant messaging. Try those things consistently for a couple weeks and I think you will find that your audience will grow and that you will have meaningful conversations with people that you didn't have those conversations with before. Absolutely, so. and it kind of brings out the woodwork who's watching that maybe you weren't aware of. Exactly. So, they're watching. My name is Dylan. I'm Leslie. And this has been Music and Mascara in the car. We're going to go ahead and edit this afterwards and also put it up on our YouTube channel as well as share it around the internet. So stay tuned and we will talk to you very soon.